So this whole theory is based on seasonal movements, uh, some of our current conditions, and it's really going to be based on contours. Uh, so this, the reason it works so well is it easily applies to all different bodies of water. A lot of it's not anything new, it's just kind of simplifying all the things that we know to look for and places that we really concentrate on. Uh, the hardest place that, like I said, is Florida, because most lakes in Florida don't have contour lines. Uh, you know, they're just kind of big bowls. Okeechobee's like 20 feet deep in the middle and it's two feet deep on the sides. Right? There's no contours. But what I realized is that those fish in Florida, a lot of times, they use the weed lines, the different grass lines, like they do contour lines. All right, so at Okeechobee, you'll have a milfoil or a hydrilla line on the outside. As you move in, then there'll be like the buggy whips or the reed lines, and then you've got cattails inside of that. And that's how those fish move. They move through those lanes and use those as contour lines. So remember that if you're fishing on a lake that doesn't really have contour lines, but it might have a lot of grass, pay attention to that because usually that's what those fish are going to use. I mean, it's worked time and time again in Florida just paying attention. I mean, you look at the elites, we'll go to Florida, all of a sudden there'll be a tournament, all the guys are catching them on the outside reeds. Next time we go there, it's a little bit different time of year, everybody's catching them way back in there. Okay, so just, just pay attention to that. They use those as contour lines. Uh, the other thing that it does is it helps you eliminate dead water very quickly, right? That's one of our biggest things is I'm able to take this and once I find where the fish are at in this percentage triangle, I don't have to worry about fishing the rest of the creek. I can find places like it and without ever even fishing them, get an idea of where else I want to fish, right? So it, it allows me to be able to develop a pattern very quickly and it's going to target the bigger fish, right? This might not always be the best way to catch numbers of fish, but in a tournament, especially if it's just a one or two day tournament, I only need five or six bites and then I just have to capitalize on those. So a lot of times if I'm fishing a one day tournament, I'm just looking for five bites, but I want the five biggest bites I can get. That's just how I've grown up fishing. And you know, it's kind of a little bit of a hero or zero mentality, but a lot of times if you can pair that in with catching you know, a fish here or there, that's really gonna help you out. Uh, and it's easy to pattern, right? That's our number one thing is if you have a pattern versus a spot, that allows you to be able to adapt that pattern when conditions change, right? Mother nature is never the same. The only thing that's consistent in fishing is that it's going to change. Always does. It's never the same. Um, Bull Shoals is another example of that. We went there two years in a row, the exact same dates, and one year it was dirty, fishing was phenomenal, everyone's catching 50 fish a day, we're catching 20 pound bags, cranking them. The next time we go there you can see 20 feet down, everyone's catching them finesse fishing in like 14 pounds a day wins. So I mean it's completely different conditions even though it's the same dates. So you really got to pay attention to that. And the other thing is is that keep in mind that the largest fish, even though bass are a warm water species, the largest of those fish still prefer cooler water temps. Right? So if you think about any time the summer for example, right? Either those fish are usually caught deep, they're moving deep because they want cooler water for the deeper in the deeper waters, or they're in thick vegetation, they're underneath mats, they're in the shade, they want that cooler temperatures, whether it's deep or shallow, right? And that's why we catch a lot of our biggest fish in the springtime or late in the fall, because they're more accessible. The water temperatures have cooled down, they feel more comfortable, and those bigger females are coming up to play in the cooler temperatures. It's Mike Iaconelli. This is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. You will learn things at Bash U that you will learn nowhere else. We take the mystery and the myths out of bass fishing. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. At Bass U TV, shoes are optional. And I like turtles. And that's why you want to check out Bash U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV. 